What's up, everybody? I couldn't find the thing I needed to click. <laughs> Welcome back to What If Boise State joined the Pac-12 here in NCAA Football 12, playing a dynasty, watching all the games as they happen, uh, to see how Boise State does in the Pac-12, which would be a step up if they had left the Mountain West Conference in 2011. Let's say the Pac-12 didn't offer Colorado a reason to come to the Pac-12, and instead they tried to woo Boise State on in um this is a simulation that takes a look at that uh in a series that i'm doing called what if dot 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 and then fill in the blank uh this is the first one of these we've done i have a bunch of other ideas that i'd like to take a look at in the future uh and so far it's actually been pretty good boise state is a three and O with a win at georgia a win in california against the golden bears and they most recently beat the air force falcons this week in week number five, game number four, episode number five, fancy how that worked out, the Boise State Broncos are uh, heading up to Pullman, Washington to take on the Washington State Cougars. Uh, so we will, uh, before we get to that, is what I should say, we're going to take a look at the top 25 polls, get you caught up there. Boise State remained uh, the same ranking, started at eight, moved up to seven been at six for the last couple of weeks uh, and the top 10 remains the same alabama stanford ohio state oklahoma state florida boise state texas a&m oklahoma south carolina tcu oregon mississippi state nebraska virginia tech nevada lsu wisconsin moves up one spot and they were the first team to actually move uh position wise notre dame michigan state auburn texas uh, Arkansas lost, so that's why all those teams jumped up one spot each. So Arkansas at 22, USC, NC State, and Oregon State. We'll take a look at the additional info. Number 24, Missouri dropped out. They were among the teams that got uh, additional votes with UCF, Penn State, Tennessee, Texas Tech, and Pittsburgh. For some reason, when I checked the Heisman standings last time, uh... The quarterback was number two, and he is no longer on this list. That makes sense. I think the game glitched and gave him two touchdowns that he did not actually score. But also, if you go five for 15 for 49 yards, you're not going to be in the Heisman race uh, for long. So, that would explain why he would have dropped out. Boise State cannot take the Cougars very lightly this week. There's a huge matchup next week against a top five Stanford team. That is going to be huge and awesome. I believe they were number two, um, maybe number three. I didn't retain that information super well. Uh, but if the top ten was the same as last time, Stanford was number two. Boise State, number six. Huge, huge matchup in not only the Pac-12 North, but also just... From, national, from a national perspective as well. That's the one thing I did not check out uh, last time that will get you caught up here, uh, caught up on here, is the um, Pac-12 standings. Pac-12 no, North, very tight. Everybody has at least three wins, only a couple teams with one loss, or a few teams with one loss. Uh, we are right behind Stanford. Not scoring a ton of points. 66-13, to 13. looks good on paper, maybe not great overall uh, considering some of these other teams have a hundred and a minimum of 135 for Washington State has given up a lot of points though um, that's Pac-12 North Pac-12 South looks a little messier uh, USC uh, in an early lead there and then the next closest is Utah and they're 3-0 in conference already and everybody is not even won a conference game yet so the Pac-12 North, the stronger of the two conferences, or the two divisions, excuse me, um, uh, so far. And the Pac-12 North has four top 25 schools, with Stanford at number two, Boise at number six, Oregon at number 11, and Oregon State at number 25. But that's not what we're here to look at. We are here to watch some football. We are going to play a game in Pullman, Washington, uh, Washington State. The Cougars, the Boise State Broncos, a lot better. 
A, A plus, B plus versus a C plus, C plus, C. We'll see how this goes. No, like, pun intended. No controllers have been assigned, if you don't know. Uh, we watched the computer play on the hardest difficulty. I don't think I explained that in the last episode either. We have Cougars and Broncos. Cougars and Broncos played three years ago, two years ago, 2018, 17, 18, somewhere in there. Um, in the best game I have ever seen in person. Cougars came back from like 21 down, forced it into overtime, and won in overtime. It was incredible. And I was there. It was really weird because the Cougars had been like thoroughly getting their ass kicked, and my mom and I like looked at each other and were like, do we go? Because we had been to some stinker games before, so like we kind of know like, hey, we can leave now, and it'll be fine. You want to head out? You want to like you want to split and we decided that we would wait just a little bit longer and just a little bit longer enough to watch the comeback the idea is that if, if you leave early not only do you not have to watch the team you paid to see get their ass kicked but secondly you can uh, avoid traffic which can be pretty bad in that area coming out of the coming out of the game but we stuck around Huge comeback, overtime win. They rushed the field. It was awesome. But here we are in Pullman. Place that I visit once a year-ish. Try to go see new teams that the Cougars are playing. They have a big series coming up against, they have a home and home against uh, Wisconsin coming up that I would like to go to because I like Wisconsin. But again, we're focused right now on Boise State coming in here 3-0 and in a big Pac-12 North matchup. Derek Hines, 6'3", from California, 214-pound junior. He's the quarterback for the Cougars. I believe that would be like Alex Brink? It might be. Nah, maybe that's too late. Because when we saw games, it was like Jason Gesser and guys like that. All right. So, Cougars are going to kick off from the 30-yard line. The kick is away, and we are underway. Pac-12 North showdown. Big game against Stanford next week. But you know, don't take the Cougars lightly, who have gotten off to uh, what I would say surprising. Three had one start. They are not highly rated in this game. Um, this game, 2011... Would have been a couple of a couple of pretty bad years, not only for Washington State but Washington in general. Deep drop there for Boise State, and uh, Austin just misses the quarter, or misses the receiver. He threw that about ten yards out of bounds, and he has not looked sharp over the last couple of games. Got one five for fifteen. I'll do that for you. We get off to the run game. Washington State jumped the snap. Didn't matter. Nice run to the wide side. Picks up eight, and it'll be second or third down, excuse me, and two. This is also a very old Washington State Cougars football stadium. Looks a looks a lot different than looks a lot different now than it did then. So third down and two. Wide receiver split up to the top. They'll run it to the left side and pick it up easily. Gained a solid four yards there. Five, sorry, excuse me. I'm being told it was five by the PA announcer. A five yard gain makes it first and two from the 43 yard line. Boise State got the ball first last week against Air Force and drove it down the field with minimal problems. Scored a touchdown. See what they can do this week. Throw it outside. Gain of four. No, oh, sorry, gain of two. Not even close. So second down and eight from the 45-yard line. I formation. Boise State shifts. Cougars don't really react to it. They were pretty set to just defend the run there. Two-yard gain for Jackson, who had a great week last week. Had 22 rushes, I believe, for about 130 yards or so. Split back four down linemen for the Cougars. Boise State looked like he was winding up to launch that ball instead throws short 
Pass is incomplete. The Cougars will get off the field, forcing a fourth and six. We did see Boise State try a fourth down conversion right in that area, but fourth and six probably just a little bit too long. Nice punt coverage there. Cougars will take it first and ten from, what was that, the 12-yard line or so? Oh, sorry, 17. 17-yard line. Three down lineman for Boise State. Blitzing the guy off the edge. Run up the gut for the Cougars. And find a five-yard gain. They'll work with a hurry-up offense here. Pistol set. Two receivers top and bottom. Running a screen. It would have been a nice call, but it just they don't get the don't get the blockers where they need to be to get any yards. And instead that'll bring up third down and six. They'll run the hurry up again. From the twenty-one. Cross back to pass, another screen, another screen well defended, blown up in the backfield. Back to fourth and ten. So, just like that, the Cougars have to punt the ball away. Not taking a ton of time off the clock. I don't think Leach showed up until 2013 or so. I think this would have been like the Paul Wolf years. Excellent field position here for the Boise State Broncos, and it's going to get a little bit easier after a an encroachment penalty. We we'll get first and five from the 38. So it was at the 43. As I was trying to think of who the coach would have been for the Washington State Cougars in 2011. Handoff up the middle, nice. Job of the defense tried to hurdle someone and got taken down right at the line. They'll give them, they'll give them progress for the first down, first and ten. Number five, right in the middle of that Cougar defense, shed the block and looked like it was going to be stopped for no gain, but somehow able to get out of that tackle and go for five more. Couple guys named Jackson on the offense. Interesting. Offset eye formation. Just run it again. Another nice gain of four. So third down and one. Just again, just running the ball. Just keep running it. Should be Clark. That'll be a first down. Buster dancing. Should be Bullseye. I should have been making Toy Story references this whole time, but I wasn't. You run it again. Why not? Well, maybe that's why not. Second down and nine. Only a gain of one. Jackson's out, so Clark is in. Take some reps here. Maybe see if you can hit the Cougars with a play action pass here again. Offset eye. Run it up the middle instead. Tripped up. After a gain of six, third down, three yards to go. So Clark coming in here, getting some yards. So Jackson is back in the backfield. Pistol formation, drop back to pass. That was a dangerous throw. I don't know how that was not at least deflected. That defender was in the perfect position to take that ball away. Just didn't see it. So instead, that'll be first and goal for Boise State. I, I can't believe it. For all the, the NCAA football that I have played and I have watched my brother play, the number of times throws like that are just picked off and taken to the house is uh, a lot. I formation. Handed off to Jackson. Jukes inside. And gets just slammed into the end zone. So 6 nothing Boise State. 31 seconds to go here. First quarter. As Bullseye the Bronco cheers on the, the Blue Broncos. Boise State 7. Washington State nothing. 
Three yard rush by Jackson. Eight plays, 41 yards, a minute and 58 seconds come on, came off the clock. Maybe two pass attempts on there. One of them, the one should have been picked off. That was a third and three as well. About a yard deep in the end zone up to the 15 to the 23. Two, three, somewhere in there. Nice run back for the Cougars. I'll take it. First and 10, 23 yard line. Like they were going to kind of fake a blitz, play action, pass. Cougars' second possession starts out a lot better. First down immediately up to the 41. Sink back set, handed off wide open, running room on the left side, all the way up to the 50. Oh, I thought the game froze. Going to be real bummed about that. That's actually going to be across the 50 end of Boise State territory at the 49 yard line. Take the handoff, and he's going to run it. The quarterback run. A little option there. Eight yards. The Cougars looking good here on their second drive. Final play of the first quarter. It's going to be a sack. So every yard that he gained on that really great option run. Taken back, third down and 10 from the 46, four, or 49 yard line. Pardon me. We'll find out what happens coming up next. We are at the end of one. Washington State trails 7 0, but they are driving at midfield. This is uh, ESPN College Football Coverage on twitch.tv slash Rex or youtube.com slash channel slash numbers and letters. Be sure to subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube so I can just say youtube.com slash Rex. That'd be real great. Three receivers to the bottom of the screen. Fake handoff. Play action, I guess is what I should say. I look like it was right on the line. If I'm Boise State, maybe I take a look at that. You can challenge in this game, I believe. Maybe I'm thinking of NCAA 14. Float pass up over the top, right on the sideline. That is another beautiful catch. First and 10 at the 10, so they can get a first down before the goal line, but it is it is inches. Hand off to the left side. Spin move doesn't work. Knocked back for a yard loss. Cougars two great pass plays in a row to get all the way down here inside the red zone. Hand off again up the left side. Runs through a tackler. Gain of six. Puts it third and five on the five yard line. I do wonder if this maybe is just a glitch in the in the scoreboard. Bringing some pressure. Doesn't matter. Nice little crossing route. Mitchell for the Cougars. Answers right back. Hung in there. Probably took a pretty nasty hit, but it should be a touchdown. Way to, way to stand in there for just enough time. to get that one through. So, after a furious drive by the Cougars, it is now seven to seven, nine plays, 76 yards, 109 off the clock. That is a touchdown for Washington State. Fielded at the five yard line. Boise State returns it up to the 25. That's where they will take over first and 10. 418 remaining, second quarter. Hicks with a nice run back there. See if we get more of a Dosa Jackson running this ball right down the Cougars' throats. And they will do that up the middle. That was easy first town. I don't, also, I don't know what that chant was. Wa, wa, Washington State. Like, no. Let's go Cougs. And they, they move it back and forth between the sides of the stadium. Go Cougs. Go, Coos! Like that, and it's awesome. Except for on third downs, they always do the Gator Chomp, which doesn't make any sense. It should be the Cougars. Because Cougars don't have Gator Mouths. 
there's like only there's only one place that the Gator Chomp works, and it's in Florida. Or if your team is named after a Gator. Boys of State dropping back. Second down and eleven. That pass is to nobody. This is when you would this is when you would do it on third and eleven. Is it intimidating? Are you intimidated? Ooh, ooh, I don't know if we're going to be able to complete this pass. Oh, no. Third down and 11 from the 35-yard line. Boise State gets sacked. We well, see Austin just hold on to that ball too long sometimes. That was one of those scenarios. You know, we usually get it right when that animation starts to kick in where he's about to just wind up to launch it. There's a look at the Cougars coach. Pardon me, I had a really bad hiccup. Gross. All right. Cougars return it at the 30 and make it to maybe the 33. Excellent punt coverage from Boise State right there. And we'll see what the Cougars have in store before the half. Shotgun snap, screen play. A lot of running for a six yard gain, but a good call against the pretty aggressive Boise State defense. Hurry up worked against Boise State last time. Hand off to the outside, gains one. They're gonna call it two, the PA announcer says two. Three receivers down at the bottom of your screen. Fires over the middle. Nice grab there. Had a six yard gain or so to the 48 yard line. First down and 10, Washington State. Clock pauses to reset the chains. Looked like a pretty wide hole off to the right side, but the linebacker did a nice job of staying put and getting ready to clog up that lane. John Cox, unfortunately, injured there. We saw a similar uh, injury last week. I don't remember if they came back and played. Hopefully he's not too badly injured. Throw up the right sideline. That is a whole mess. Maybe a miscommunication. The receiver looked like he stopped his route, but he also looked like he shoved the defender. Good no call, though. 7-7, seven seven, third and 10. Bringing the blitzing linebacker, and he'll get to him. Actually, that was a lineman. My apologies. Well, delayed blitz or delayed rush there. 7-7. Seven, seven. WSU over Boise. Kicking it deep. Fielded at the 12. Met at the 20. Boise State will come out for their third, third offensive drive. 7-7 seven, seven ball game. Could be a huge upset for the Cougars, beating a top 10 team. For Boise State, you're looking to hold that ranking and play tough against Stanford. Maybe even walk out of Stanford with a win. Timeout, Boise State. 2-0-1 remaining. Second quarter. Second down and four. Motion the tight end there. Drops back to pass. Scans, scans, steps up, and just launches it out of bounds. Throwing it away. Austin, not having a great, great game so far. So with the clock stop, he'll push it out. Run it to the left side. Gets just around that Cougar defense. And that is a huge run all the way up to the 49-yard line of Washington State. What a run. Number 17 probably could have been a little more aggressive there to try and get the to get Jackson down, but guess not. Clock is moving under two minutes here, 143 remaining to be more specific. Drops back to pass, throws out a little wide receiver screen or quick pass. Nothing, nothing doing. This is a two-yard loss, so hurry to the line. Back on their own side of the field. Washington State jumps the snap, and that is going to be picked off and tackled immediately. Wasn't sure if he was going to be able to get around that defender. Actually, it may have been Jackson. 
It was Jackson. But a nice, a nice defensive grab there. One-handed snag for the Cougars. And Austin continues to struggle at quarterback. Going 5 for 15 in the previous game. Struggled against California. Three down lineman. Deep pass for the Cougars right on that sideline. He'll be out of bounds at the 29 yard line. And if he if he was one step further into the field to his right, he could have gone. He was behind a bunch of defenders there. 30 probably would have got him. But it's also um, I don't know. Also something. Also doesn't matter, honestly. So, first and ten. Cougars are going to run it. Tackled behind the line. Cougars will take a timeout. 117 remaining. John 117. The Master Chief. On the clock. Second down and 11. Stands back to throw. Floats it. And just misses the receiver. Wasn't a whole lot going on there. Boise State only rushed three defenders. Everybody just kind of hung out in coverage. This is going to be, what, a 46-yard field goal or so? If they don't gain anything more on this play. Third and 11. Big wind-up. Should have been a pick in the back of the end zone. Got his hands on it and just couldn't come down with the ball. Fourth and 11. You know, like a 48-yard field goal. Kick is up. The kick is good. Oh, my goodness. Let's get a replay on that. It, it sounded like it hit something. Coming in. No. Okay. I guess I'm just hearing ghosts. 10-7, five plays. 24 yards, 18 seconds. 48-yard field goal. I think it was a little off. I think I said 46. Kick is away, so 101 remaining. Second quarter. Boise State returns it from the three up to the 20. 25 and met by a pack of Cougars. I'm trying to think of what a collection of Cougars would be. Multiple Cougars. Yeah, what the hell is that chant? From the pistol, hands it off, met immediately at the line. They'll give him one yard. So a minimal push. And it looks like Boise State is more than happy to just run this clock out. If I'm the Cougars, maybe take two timeouts. Or, you know, just make us watch the last 30 seconds of this. Quick pass out to the uh, right and just dropped. Just dropped. They ran all that time off the clock to throw an incomplete pass. So now if you're the Cougars, you absolutely should take a timeout after this. Met. Timeout. Cougars. Nine seconds remaining. Fourth and five. Kick is away. Back of the 20, 3, 2, 1 second remains on the clock. That was a long second. Just waiting to see it hit triple zeros. We'll see if the Cougars elect to do uh, do anything with it. Come out in a pistol formation. Three receivers to the bottom of your screen, and they'll just hand it off. You know, try to get a nice return, maybe try to get a touchdown. I really think they should have taken it after the first down run. Why not? I mean, Boise State gifted you an extra timeout by throwing an incomplete pass. Obviously, 2020, or hindsight, excuse me, is 2020. But more importantly, the score here is 10 to 7. Boise State Broncos. Bullseyes. Excuse me. The Boise State Bullseyes are uh, in charge here. Nope, that's not what I'm trying to say. I don't know. I got distracted because I called them the Bullseyes. I was thinking about Toy Story. Boise State Broncos down three, 
fielded at the three up to the 25 through the defenders up to the 33 yard line. Here's our game track. Let's play for Boise State. Another sack for Boise State. Right at midfield. There's going to be a sack for the Cougars. That that happens. That was a cool thing. All right. Cool. All right. That's your that's your game track. Some sacks. None of the touchdowns that were scored or the field goal. Screw that. Boise State down three. Needs to get. Uh, needs to get their offense going. Washington State though. With a positive start, second down and five after the five-yard gain, 4.45 remaining third quarter. Delayed handoff met at the line there. Third and one, excellent defense there. That looked like it was going to be an easy first down. That defender did a great job to make sure that that was not the case. Washington State shifts, drops back to pass. He's going to tuck it and run. He's up to the 50. He's into the 40, or down to the 45, into Boise State territory. For whatever reason, the game does not understand what happens when the quarterback runs, and the quarterback runs are going to break this game. Clock pauses while the ball is reset. Delayed handoff. We have I don't know if we've seen number 34 come back into the game. He was injured in the second quarter. I see number three out there in the backfield. Delayed handoff again. Picking up two yards on each of those carries, making it third and six. Snap jumps four from Boise State. Flipped it over to his little tight end there. That'll be a first and ten out of uh, 27. Derek Hines, 10 for 1,302 yards. That is a good, efficient day. They'll actually mark him down at the 20. Six yard line. So Washington State coming out firing on all cylinders. Another QB run. That's 10, almost 15 yards. Looks like a 14 yard run. Red zone report. Washington State one time in the red zone. One touchdown. 100%. Hands it off. Runs off the left side. Met after about eight yards. Second down and three. So they'll give him seven. This hurry-up offense is doing a number against Boise State, who was almost in the neutral zone because of player collision. Quarterback option, and he was in easily. Defender took the running back, probably the smart play. Hoped that he had some help, and he did not. Washington State marches down the field and scores and is now up nine pending the extra point on the number six team in the country. Kick is up. Kick is good. 17-7. Nine play, 68-yard drive, a minute and 50 off the clock, five-yard rush by the quarterback, Hines Haynes. Hines. Feel it down about the seven-yard line up to the 25. Just barely crosses the 30. So a nice return there for Boise State. Give them some all right field position. Rockets it to his receiver for a four-yard gain. That'll be second down and six. Take a look at the Cougar sideline here. Going to be feeling pretty good after that. Excellent first drive coming out of the locker room. Ran it inside, bounced it back inside when he should have taken it out. 14 rush, 86 yards, 6.1 average, and a touchdown. Probably should hand the ball to more. Or the, probably should hand the ball to Jackson a little more. That's a good plan. Second down and nine.
Handoff again. Bouncing it out to the left side. Picks up two. Makes it third down and seven. Is this four down territory for Boise State? They're right about midfield. They're a 45 yard line. I, I guess if, if you get to the 50, maybe you go for it. Instead they'll hand it off. He'll get past the 50. So you don't have to worry about going for it. That's a first down run. That'll be, uh, I believe that's Clark. Got a little two-back set going on there. Nice play. That'll be first down and ten for Boise State. As Buster cheers on from the sideline. Delayed handoff. Again. Nothing doing there. Well read by the Cougars defense. Maybe went back to that well one too many times. Rifles it to his receiver at the 40-yard line. Third down and three. Pardon me for the yawn. One minute remaining, third quarter. Boise State can come away with a field goal and they'll be all right. Fourth down and one, though. Are we going to want to go for it? Jackson just couldn't quite get enough for the first down. They will leave their offense on the field. I believe this is about the spot that they tried for a field goal last week. Handed off to the fullback. I think he got it. Just barely. Might have an injured Cougar on the field. That was a weird audio clip that just cut out randomly. Sunnyvale, California. Martinez. Looks like he's grabbing that wrist. Oh, they're going to take him off on the cart. I have not seen this animation before. Nice applause from the audience. You always clap. You always clap when, you, when someone goes off the field with an injury. Even if they're on the other team. Don't be an asshole. Anyway, 28 seconds. Clock is running. Drops back to pass. Four down lineman for the Cougars. Floating it up top. Intercepted by Washington State. Read that beautifully. Took it out of the end zone for some reason. He'll get it up to the seven-yard line. But a little float pass from Austin, the Boise State quarterback. And that just wasn't going to make it. That was going to be... It was going to be close. But it was... A little lob up here, 82, trying to track it. Number 20 comes away with the interception. No reason for him to take that out of the end zone, but... Washington State will be on offense. So after the first or the fourth down conversion, Boise State comes away with nothing. Okay, we're in a close game at California. That one took until the fourth quarter to really sort itself out. Locked at three. This one they're going to have to play from behind in the fourth quarter. 17-7. to seven. Trying to work around the defenders. Quarterback somehow, somehow slipped through those two linemen. Picked up a handful of yards there. Well, that'll take us to the end of the third quarter. This is ESPN College Football. On Twitch.tv slash Rex. Quarterback's running ability for the Cougars has been the difference. 17-7, excellent first drive of the second half. A great interception in the third quarter. Helping extend this lead and keep Boise State from scoring. So third down and four, big third down for Boise State. They were looking good at coming away with a field goal until he threw that pick. Floats it outside. That should have been an interception. That absolutely should have been a pick. Hicks should have had that. So the defense holds. They'll get decent field position. Not great punt coverage. They probably went for it. Hicks secures the ball on the punt return. Got it up to the 48-yard line. So first down and 10. Boise State down 17-7. Plenty of time left. 
Nice run up the middle. We'll give that to Jackson. He'll pick up nine. That's who you go with. You stick with that hot hand. You have to come away with three here. At least. At least three. I mean, from here, it's not possible, but... Running it again. Finds a nice hole there up to the 30-yard line. Maybe the 31. Doesn't matter because it's first and 10. So fresh set of downs. Jackson doing work here in the fourth quarter. He's actually, he's been solid all game long. So 420 remaining. Five receiver set. Something like a little wide receiver screen. It was well read. Number 27 did a good job of getting his hand in the way. There's not a whole lot of room to work on the outside. Washington State, great defense there. That was a pretty fearful pass, honestly. Like, oh, good, you're going to just literally throw this game away. Jackson breaks one tackle but can't break the second. Third down and nine. Give yourselves an opportunity for a field goal. Defense held well last time. There you go. Hand the ball off. Bounces up to the left side. He'll get crushed at the 25 yard line. Just annihilated at the 25. Fourth down and four. And they are going to go for it. All right. Five receivers spread across the field. Drops back to pass. That is a turnover on downs. He had number 89 wide open all by himself. Instead, he went with the crossing route right into a defender. That not only was it was that not only was that not going to be a first down, he didn't even catch the ball. So first and ten. Three oh nine remaining here in the fourth quarter. Nice defense there, no gain. No gain for the Cougars. Wood couldn't find any room. I definitely would have taken the field goal there. I would have trusted my defense to get me a stop to go for the touchdown. I also, even if I were going to go for it on fourth down, I would not throw the ball. I don't know why they went out with a five wide receiver spread like that. Jackson has been a beast all game long. And then you put it into your quarterback's hands who has not played well. And still made, and, and made the wrong read. Well, quarterback run there. This is a good use of timeouts here by the uh, by the Broncos. Excuse me. The Cougars are forced into a fourth and seventeen. So we'll punt deep from their own in or territory again. Again, received right at the fifty yard line, and we'll look at the it similar starting field position to the last drive. But there you go. I mean, that's your answer right there. Obviously, hindsight twenty twenty. But you kick a field goal there, you get one stop. Now you're only down seven instead of ten here. Floating the pass down the field, and that is going to be an easy touchdown. Boise State is right back in this game. And again, if you win for the field goal, that's a tie game. So a busted coverage by the Cougars, who probably don't have a ton of respect for the passing game, considering that Boise State hasn't done a whole lot passing-wise. 17 to 13 now, pending the extra point. The hard one's out of the way. Boise State is down to only one timeout. We're under two minutes to go. They will have to go for an onside kick. <gasps> the Cougars touched it. Boise State recovered that onside kick. The Cougars touched the ball. Boise State recovered the kick. Oh my goodness. So from the 41-yard line, Boise State takes over. Down three. 158 to go. We're going to throw. 82, I believe that's Mitchell. In a couple of yards, or seven yards, I guess. It's more than a couple. Yeah, that 
They'll clock the ball there. Third and three. I would not have clocked the ball there. You were you were wasting enough time anyway. Just hand the ball off. And run an option in an absolutely horrible play there. That's a loss of five. Cougars read that perfectly. Lucky it was not a turnover. Jackson's going to get pegged with the loss of yards there. And the clock is moving. Fourth down and eight. It's all going to come down to this. 123 remaining. Fourth quarter. Drops back to pass. Three down lineman for the Cougars. Dances around. Floats it up top. Driving incomplete. Washington State will take over. 17-14 lead. Boise State has one timeout. I don't think it's enough. So that fourth down play comes and bites them in the behind. Boise State will take a timeout with 110 remaining. Cougars, I'm sure, will just run the the run the ball here. Oh no, they're gonna throw. No, they'll run. Okay, never mind. They're going to hurry up again. I think the game is confused. What is happening? Just hold on to the ball. What are you doing? Okay. All right. They're just taunting us. That ref moved and it looked like it was a linebacker creeping up to blitz. They are actually going to throw the ball on third down. It doesn't matter. They completed the pass. First and 10. Washington State with 21 seconds to go. And this is going to complete a monumental upset. The number six team in the nation is about to go down a week before a huge showdown at Stanford. Cougars will just ice this one away. Boise State's out of timeouts. And again, it's going to be that fourth quarter, or that fourth down decision. Went for it on a fourth and five, and just wasn't wasn't the right call. I, even, even with the results of the game being, you know, knowing it, it was the wrong call. You were close enough. You were only down two scores. You need a score there. You have to come away with a score. Trust your defense. And they rewarded you, and you got an easy touchdown. 17 to 14, how far will they fall? We'll take a look at some highlights here. Here's the play of the game, that five-yard touchdown run. Wow. Wow. How far will Boise State fall? They played a tough game against California. Um, they were able to get a defensive, a couple defensive takeaways to get that game uh, won for them. Player of the game, 11 for 15 on the passing. Had 29 yards rushing. Seemed like a lot more, honestly. Two total touchdowns, one passing, one running or rushing touchdown. Here's a, here's a look at the touchdown that Jackson scored. Washington State marked right back down the field. Took that shot. As he let go of the ball. That would evened it up at 7 all. This made it 17 to 7. This was a big touchdown towards the end of the game that made it 17 14. But unfortunately, it was just a little too late. They even recovered the onside kick. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, if you're curious, I remove that so I can use one of those as the thumbnail for the video. The first video is going to have a weird thumbnail because my face is going to be in it, and then the rest of them uh, won't. 
But that will do it for this week's episode. Boise State falls to number to unranked, excuse me, Washington State. They fall to three and one, and we'll see how far they fall in the top twenty-five. But absolute, absolutely shocked. Uh, and that headline is going to say it all: cardiac arrest. The Cougars defeat number six Boise State in a historic upset for Washington State. And that's. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It was a historic upset for Washington State. And it doesn't get any easier because the Broncos are about to go to Stanford. I thought for sure the Cougars would uh, get pummeled by Boise State. But the Broncos have not played super well. The Georgia game was probably their best game. Um, they squeaked one out against Cal. The score does not indicate how close that game was. And then the game against um, Air Force... Air Force was definitely overmatched in that one. And I thought I thought that the Cougars would be overmatched in this one, but it came out. The hurry-up offense did a lot against Boise State. And they'll have to, I'll have to come back from a tough loss to go to Stanford. We'll see what happened there. We'll see the ranking up just above Week 5, 2011. See how far they fall. Uh, the wage set next week at Stanford. Not exactly sure what's after that. But Stanford and Oregon are the two big games on the slate. And depending on how um, Washington and Washington State do, or uh, Washington and Oregon State do, those games could be, um, could be big as well. The Broncos, by the way, have not had a home Pac-12 game yet. And that will continue next week as they travel to Stanford. So they drop all the way to number 17. And that will be next week, 2 p.m. Pacific time, twitch.tv slash Rex. If you're watching this on YouTube, it is long gone. So uh, you'll have to wait for the YouTube video. It'll be next Saturday at 8.15 a.m. right here uh, on YouTube. So thank you for watching this week's episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, I had a good time broadcasting and hopefully you had a good time watching it. Uh, this is a new kind of seasonal series thing that I'm doing with a new Twitch uh, streaming schedule and all that good stuff. So head on over to twitch.tv slash Rex if you like the content or just subscribe on YouTube and pick and choose what you watch. Um, you can also follow me on Twitter if you want to see schedules. I'm trying to be better about posting exactly what's coming up. Um, but I have a huge mental block that as soon as I tell myself to do something, it becomes a chore instead of something that I enjoy. So... Um, I try not to commit too hard because then I'm like, Ugh, I don't want to do that. I want to do something else. I also try to leave it flexible to be able to do whatever if something comes out that I didn't realize was coming up. But until next week, don't don't lose in Pullman. I don't know how to end this video. <laughs> I don't know. I have a good outro for one of my videos. We'll be back next week in Stanford for a matchup of a of a top top seventeen. Of the top 17 variety. Boise State at Stanford next Saturday. 8.15 a.m. YouTube.com. See you there.